and welcome to our channel. My name is Tracy. Bandit's, hang Bandit's hanging around with me trying to find the snack box that we just opened. And Chloe's off eating ice cream because we just opened the snack box and she got a little snack and then she was back out for the ice cream. Um, but I have a globe in box. I don't know what's in here. So I had gone on and I picked something and then I changed it to something else. But I was, ha I was having real problems with their website when I went on. It was like, it didn't look like it was taking anything. Like it kept saying it was the surprise me. And then it said it was, I don't know. And then even with the tracking stuff, I got tracking notifications showing me it was one thing and then something else. So I'm not really sure what I got. Um, because I had changed it to, from whatever I had chose to the pause box, which I had already received in the past but I really liked and it had like this nice big um, pillow that's really good for my back so I thought it'd be nice to have two of those so I don't know let's see okay it is not the pause so it is the first one that I picked but at least it's one of the ones that I picked so I guess I should be happy about that All right, so we have this woven basket, um, which could be used as a bag for the market. It is, it's got like some stiffness, so you could also just use it wherever you might use a basket. This is the beam box. It does tell you a little bit about um, the artisans and where they're made. So if you're not familiar with Globin, it is a monthly, kind of like a home goods type. Um, they do sometimes have like um, foods and such in them. So it's kind of like having home, the home goods store brought to you, except for these are all fair trade, which I can't tell you anything about the items you get at home goods. I'm guessing they're mass market made and uh, probably not fair trade. Um, could be wrong though. Could be wrong. I don't know. But these are all fair trade. All of the artisans get paid a fair wage for their work. Um, so, you know, they're not made by people who aren't getting paid well for what, you know, getting paid pennies on the dollar. Um, and they try to promote a partnership between um, bringing their subscribers, connecting them with the different artisans and um, some different works. So this is a seagrass bag made in Vietnam, and um, this is a new addition. There is like a little thing so you can scan and get all the information, but you guys would be bored if I did that. So it is something wrapped up. Let's see what that is, because I don't remember what was even in this box. It is nice to get something different, but sometimes it's nice to get the same because like a lot of times they'll give you one glass or something like that and like what am I doing with one glass like I like to have some at least two matching um, or one tablecloth so oh this is pretty this is a little wooden comb it's very nice made in India all right we have this scarf that's real pretty a lot of times their uh, materials like this are made from upcycled sari material. So look at how pretty that is. And it's, it's got like a different kind of edging. Like it's not a straight edge. It's on an angle. So you could kind of wear it like this if you wanted to, if you had like a, a sleeveless top or a dress or something and you just wanted a little something to cover your shoulders. All right, this is made in India. It is a sari sarong. It is from upside gold sari material. And then the last thing in here is this absolutely gorgeous hairpin. And this is also made in India. It's a brass hair stick with marbled stone. And I love the color in that. 
absolutely gorgeous. So I'm not upset that I got this. I mean, I had just, you know, I already had the pause box, but I would have liked a second mug. Um, I would like another one of the pillows. Um, I don't have the pillow in here, but I've had it in here before. It's the big roll one. So nice. Um, so I'll probably keep my eyes for that. I out for that in the future. Um, and maybe pick up another one at some time in the future. I know it's also available as an add-on, but I still have a bad taste in my mouth from add-ons in the past where I ordered things, didn't get everything, finally got a partial refund, but not even a full refund. Uh, <clears throat> so, <coughs> and, and it took months and months and months to get it resolved. So I kind of have a bad taste in my mouth and they send emails to say, well, things are different now, but I still haven't seen my um, my the rest of my refund, so I'm kind of probably not going to order any add-ons with them, um, even though sometimes there are some great boxes. Um, and I feel like you do get the, the boxes quicker than you would get like a single item. It's just my thoughts. Um, overall though, I love the things I get from there and for $33 a month, I do have the annual subscription. So that works out to $33 a month. You're getting a, a real good deal. Um, so, and you're getting some really nice things that, um, I get compliments on all the time. I'll have people say, Ooh, where'd you get that? And I'll say, Oh, I got it from this subscription box globe in. Um, and sometimes, you know, people that turn some off, like they don't want, can I just go on and order that? No, you have to be a member, that kind of thing. Um, but I mean, for $33 a month, I'm not going to get all four of these items at, um, at say home goods. So I do think it's a pretty good deal. Like a basket like this would probably be at least, you know, at least 20 bucks at home goods. And you wouldn't know that it was ethically made. Not that I'm going to stop shopping at home goods because there are certain things I need from there, but, um, I don't, I don't shop there as often. So. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Tell me what you like. Just like I love the colors on this. So beautiful. I probably won't use this as a shopping bag. I will probably use this um, next to the couch for some um, throw blankets. So let me know your thoughts. What would you use the bag for? Good size. Let's see. In relation to my arm. There you go. Taller than from my shoulders to my head. It comes a little bit over. All right. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. Please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and notification bell. And we'll see you soon. Bandit's tired. As you can see, he's done way too much work trying to find those snacks. All right. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye-bye.